Hello, this is uh, Sharp Rally again, and we're going to talk about traveling while you are in a green card and maintaining your permanent residence. This is a very frequent question that we are being asked for people who already got their permanent residence, also known as a green card. How do they maintain that green card? As you know, if you leave the United States for too long, you do, you might end up by losing the green card on the concept of abandonment. And also, there's another issue for those who are seeking citizenship down the road, uh, leaving for too long, actually break what we call the continuity and, and ends up by uh, having making you to restart over again in order to, to get your green card. So, first of all, let us talk a little bit about uh, how many months you, you're required to get you to, you can stay outside and in order for you not to break your, your, your green card, uh, not to be subject to abandonment of the green card. Uh, there is a misconception here first, but usually the rule is don't stay outside more than six months in a row. And because uh, by doing so, there is a presumption that you have abandoned that green card. It is a rebuttable presumption, of course, but the rule works not really directly in, in a mathematical way. For example, uh, you might think, okay, if I stay five months, I come back for three months. I go another five months and then I come back for three months. I keep doing that. You are maintaining basically your your green card. And that will also maintain your ability to file for your citizenship if you fall under the category of five years or the category of three years. But the truth, it doesn't work this way. Um, USCIS or the CBP at the border will consider the totality of circumstances. If you have been doing that too often, they can claim that you have actually tried to abandon that that green card. And if that happens, at the airport when you come back, there are a few things that can happen. If you stay more than six months at a, at a time, the first time usually you can get away with it. But after that, and um, when you look at it under the ATFR, they, they can block you at the airport and tell you, you know, you have, you have, you have a warning. First, usually they give a warning. But then the next step, if you do it again, what they can do at the airport, they can tell you, why do you need a green card if you're staying outside the United States? Why don't you just leave um, uh, leave, and we will give you what we call a visa, visa and sign uh, the form to abandon your green card? And this is how actually they can take your green card at the airport by making you sign a, a release giving up your, on, your, on your green card ability. There's a form for that. I don't have it at the top of my head, but they usually do make people sign this. And this is where many people say, oh, I lost a green card at the airport. Um, the other thing that they usually do, if you are contesting that, they will either send you to a USCIS field office or ultimately put you in removal proceeding in front of a judge where you can explain why you have not abandoned your green card. Note that the burden of proof is on you, which ultimately make it hard to prove sometimes that you, uh, you, you are really uh, seeking not to lose that green card, basically not to abandon it. And, um, and what they are looking for is basically things like um like uh, you didn't terminate your employment for example you're working in the united states and your company is placing you somewhere else that might be a good reason why you're outside for so long and all your family members are in the united states and you have bank accounts you have businesses you have properties those are the factors that they will look at to see if you have no intention or you have not abandoned your green card now the question is by leaving more than six months, many people think, okay, if I don't, uh, uh, when I come back, as soon as my five years is completed, I will be eligible to file for citizenship. There's another rule there. Um, this is under 8 CFR uh, 316.5 C1, subsection 2, where basically if you leave for more than six months, 
uh, you have broken the continuity of uh, what is required to cover the five years or three years on your citizenship. And if that's the case, you have to come back. And as from the date you come back, you have to wait four years and one day to file if you're under the five years pro to get the citizenship. And if you're under three years, you have to wait two years and one day. Uh, for example, if you obtain your, your, your green card to VAWA or you get it to marriage and you're still married to your citizen, then you have the rules of two years and one day. Otherwise, it's four years and one day. And that four years and one day restart every time you leave for six months. So there are two rules here, ladies and gentlemen. We have here, as you can see, the rule of 8 CFR 316C1 subsection 1 which basically is uh, is basically um, about maintaining the green card. And now you have the other, the other section just after that, which basically covers the 8 CFR se section 316.5 C12, uh, which basically talks about the continuity for the citizenship. There are two different things. One is maintaining the green card so that you don't lose it. Lose it and two is the citizenship now going back to the first one which is the the first part where you you have not abandoned proving that you have not abandoned the green card uh, there is a possibility if you want to stay abroad for a long time to not lose it uh, it is what we call a re-entry permit the re-entry permit is usually the form i-131 and you can actually file it and once you file it, you do the fingerprint, you can leave, and it will allow you to stay for two years outside the United States as per the date which is on that re-entry permit. And that usually, you don't have to wait for it. Uh, you can just do your fingerprint, and then someone can mail it to you, and you can use it. There are many questions towards that. Some people think the date starts as from the date you come back. No, the date starts from the date the, the, the pass has been approved, and... You have to come back within that time. If you don't, then ultimately you will fall again into the issues of abandoning the green card. So, for, so the, the advice here, ladies and gentlemen, if you're traveling abroad and you are planning to stay outside for a long time, and I have a very detailed article here written on our website. I'll put the link here. It's a guide on traveling while you're on the green card and maintenance of permanent residence. So... If you are planning to leave for a long time, uh, or you you have left uh, for for a while, and you want to either, if they are telling you 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 have abandoned your your green card, and they put you in removal proceeding, or to explain in front of a USCIS officer, we recommend that you take an attorney with you. And of course, if you're in court, you will need an attorney. I have won many cases where people stayed outside for a long time, still maintain their their green card. And um, there are, are exceptional circumstances. For example, someone is sick, someone is stuck outside, and also in front of the judge, if they bring you in front of the judge, if you can prove actually, it's the burden of proof is on you to prove that you didn't intend to abandon that green card and circumstances beyond your control made you do that, you might be able to win. I have I remember winning a bunch of cases like that. I had three cases. One actually was from Iran, one from from um, from um, Pakistan, and I think one from India where I had to go in front of a judge and explain. And luckily, all the three cases we won. And, uh, and those people, they actually stayed outside for more than two years. But these are exceptional circumstances, ladies and gentlemen. It's not something that happens on a daily basis. So I would recommend... If you plan to stay outside for more than two years, get your re-entry permit. Or the best is make sure you complete your years, get your citizenship, and then you can stay outside. Those rules don't apply to citizens or for people who are already United States citizens. But um, having said that, if you have a green card and you're travel, uh, planning to travel, make sure you plan your trips accordingly. Don't stay too long outside because you might be surprised at the airport if they come back and tell you you actually uh, you lost the green card and you will be uh, really worried and also they might not tell you at the airport but they might tell you at your citizenship interview so make sure you talk to an attorney before you make any move you can call our office at 
7425887. And anything I told you today, ladies and gentlemen, is for educational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. And again, this is Attorney Shapra signing off until the next video.